Hi guys! Um, I'm going to do my reading for Know Your Beholder. Uh, as always, I'm going to pick my page at random. There are a lot of good pages in this book, so I'm not too worried. 221. Ready? Let's do it. March 24th. Though the sun is noticeably brighter, not much thawing has taken place. No, not in Pollard. The snow that first arrived in January and grew from there still covers the cold ground with a dirty, willful crust. The pavement in front of the house is now finally visible. Though it's plagued with scores of salt rime that resemble the archaeological markings of a vast school of prehistoric jellyfish. I have been having a crisis of conscience in turmoil about my part in the displacement of Glos. I haven't been sleeping much. I wake in the middle of the night, fearing someone's in the attic, Glos, or some shade of Glos. A silent figurant approaching my bedside with a knife, ready to flay me, to delicately, surgically remove one of my kidneys and force me to eat it. I plan to simply let the inevitable take its course. After all, I reminded myself, I detested everything about Glos. His smell, the maddening unconscious weeping he had brought upon me, the possibility of pr petty and non-petty theft, <laughs> the malicious damage to my boyhood home. I only had to stay out of the way, go on with my daily routine to continue to enact my simple life in the attic, and his departure would be accomplished. But I couldn't help myself. The guilt was too much. I began to want to pull the plug on the whole operation. And his abduction. And that's all I have for you. 